to be driving this taxi at last uh, here in Warszawa, here in Warsaw, Poland, is really the culmination of a dream. You know, we set out with this idea um, not that long ago, about four months ago, and to be able to make this happen so quickly and so effectively uh, is down to incredible help that we received along the way. Uh, we received from the taxi firm from Farley Freeman in London and to, to Chelsea Football Club and, and uh, from Grant and Holocaust survivor Edward Mossberg. For all of these people who believed uh, in us and believed in this process uh, and believed in the idea of giving back. This is really the minimum that we could do as young people, as millennials, as third and fourth generation from those who survived the Holocaust to give back to these remarkable people. When we look back at the time of the Holocaust and of the Second World War, you look back at deep and dark times. You look back at times of destruction and evil and the absolute worst in humanity. And these silent heroes, these people who risked and sometimes sadly gave their lives to save our Jewish brothers and sisters during the Holocaust. These people are an absolute shining light in this difficult and dark time. And educating our children about this period, it's through these people that we're able to continue and have a love and a faith and a trust in humanity. These people really shine. For me, the London taxi is such an iconic vehicle. From the way it looks, to the way it drives, to the ability that we have to get people inside in wheelchairs and, and take people around in comfort and ease. But it's even a bit more than that. These vehicles are such a strong tool and such an educational tool. You know, we've already seen that the righteous who are using these taxis and who are driving in them and who are going different places are not just going to the chemists and they're not just going to the doctors. But they're using it for every single thing they need and this is what we want. And this is what I asked from them. I asked the righteous, I said, please call us. It doesn't matter where you're going or how you're going. We don't ask when, we don't ask how long. Just call us and we'll come and pick you up and take you. Because this is the minimum that we could do for them. And they're using it to go and speak in high schools, to speak to students, to speak to Israeli groups that are coming here. And they're also using it to go to the, to the supermarket for a big shop and for everything they need. And for us, this really is a dream come true. To be able to help, even in the smallest way, so many years later, to people who stood to help us is something that I'm incredibly proud that we're able to do. I hope that this project, and I'm sure that this project in fact, will continue for as long as the righteous are still with us. And it's through these people that we're able to hopefully teach ourselves what it means to be a good person today. The lessons of the Holocaust can never be forgotten. And the lesson isn't always just about not being a bad person, and it's not always just about respecting others. It's also about stepping up and doing what's right. It's about risking everything to save another. And so once again for us to, to give back, even in this little way, in taking them and helping them and offering this assistance, is something that I'm remarkably proud of. And hope that we continue for a long time ahead.